Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today we are doing a complete update of my Avengers bracelet, which you'll notice is empty right now because I have got so many new Avengers charms over the last couple months and I need to add them to my bracelet. So I took the entire bracelet off and I was playing around with it on this charm bar. But before I add it back to the bracelet, I figured I would go over the new charms, the old charms, where they are on the, the design. Um, my design is a little different for this bracelet than my standard bracelets because I actually have it designed around the clasp, which has that Avengers A and it says, we are heroes at the back. And since I don't want that on the back of my wrist, everything is centered around that. And the center of the bracelet is the back. So it's a little different when I designed this bracelet from a standard bracelet where I have the clasp at the back. Um, but I mean, it's just backwards. It's not anything ridiculous. Either way, since we saw this bracelet last, I have gotten three separate uh, hauls. The first one was the biggest. My local shop that had a Pandora counter went out of business, which is very sad. They're, the store is still in business. They stopped carrying Pandora. Excuse me. Um, but because of that, as sad as I am to see them go, because now my closest store is like two and a half hours away, I got really good pieces at really good prices. So if you want to see that haul, I will link it down below. But I, I purchased at 50% off, 65% off, woo, Loki, the, no, Loki, sorry y'all, I purchased Iron Man. Maybe it was, that was all. I thought it was more than that. Perhaps it was just Loki and Iron Man in that purchase. I then purchased Captain America and the Scarlet Witch. When I was in Australia, Captain America had literally just come out. Oh no, you know what it was? I purchased, this isn't even important to y'all, but I'm still what, feel the need to say because it's such a good deal. I knew I bought four charms that time. I bought Loki, Captain America's shield, Iron Man, and... Dr. Strange's medallion from that store closing. Two character beads and two dangles. Loki and Dr. Strange both being green um, was exciting for me. Go figure. So then I purchased Captain America and the Scarlet Witch. Two more character beads in Australia. Captain America came out while I was visiting Australia. So I wanted it ASAP. He is my absolute favorite character. Um, I already had the button charm of his shield, but now I have all his pieces. And Australia's prices were actually a little less expensive than they are here in the States. Plus the taxes were better and the price has gone up since then. And so I got good deals on Captain America. I looked at the prices versus what I would have paid here in the States. And I actually went back to the shop the next day and picked up the Scarlet Witch because I really wanted her. And at the price, it was too good to pass up. Then in the after Christmas sale, I picked up on Rula Law uh, Captain Marvel's button charm. So that is a tiny haul compared to the other two. But regardless, that is seven new charms for this bracelet since y'all have seen it last. And that is a lot of charms. So I'm going to bring y'all in close. I'm going to show you everything that I have on this bracelet. Um, I will probably at the end also put up a video or not a video, maybe an image of how I designed my bracelets, which is typically an Adobe Illustrator because I am a graphic designer. I like to see them online or on my computer before I purchase charms, uh, just to kind of see how they look. And so I will show you kind of where I'm going for my finished look of this bracelet. Of course, finished meaning with all of the current charms that are out now as they put out new charms, uh, that design will keep evolving. So like right now, I do not have Deadpool or Wolverine, but I know I want Deadpool. 
I'm not sure about Wolverine yet. So I will probably need to add those to my Illustrator uh, design. Maybe I'll add those with y'all so you can see the process. Either way, let's bring y'all in to see what we have right now. And then of course, I'm going to put them back on my bracelet so that I can finish wearing this guy. Finish wearing it, keep wearing it. I wanna wear my bracelet, it's on a rod right now, so I'm happy. <laughs> let's go. All right, so as you can see, I have it balanced right now with dangles. I have the three character dangles. I have the three character charms, the button charms, and then all of our little dangles along the way. So I'm not going to necessarily um, show you every single hallmark for every single charm since we would be here for a while. And I have already done that with all of the hauls, but I'm going to show you every charm. So we have our Spider-Man dangle. I love the enamel of all these reds. It is so bright and pretty and he is so cute dangling here. I love the like graphicness of the bang, the, the bangle of the bail for this one. So it says, I believe, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man on the veil, which I just think is so cute because they could have easily just been done a plain veil, you know, like this one. Not that it, it has the star inside, but you know what I mean? Like the front. So he is super cute. And then we do have some Muranos. We have the sparkly star Muranos. I don't know what their official name is. I will put all the links down in the description for the charms and also for the videos where I show each charm um, and their hallmarks close up. But this is one of those Muranos that has stars all the way around the outside. And since Captain America is my favorite, I thought these were beautifully fitting Muranos for this bracelet. Also, despite the Hulk and Loki and Doctor Strange, there are a few green characters. Most of our Avengers do sport red in some way. Uh, blue is also a common one. So a kind of red, white, and blue theme a little bit here with pops of that green and gold seems to work really well. And then we have, of course, Cap's shield, which is a little unnecessary because I do have the button charm, but I just said I love Cap and I want all of his poses. So this one has another unique veil in that it has this hollow star in the middle, which is really fun. And it has the star on the back of the shield. And it does say true to yourself with the hallmarks there at the bottom. I like that most of these charms do say either the character's motto, you know, Captain Marvel says higher, further, faster, um, the armored Avenger for Iron Man, Captain America's button charm says the first Avenger, Spider-Man says web slinger. So, you know, I think that's a really fun touch. Uh, Loki here is our next term. And if you like the red enamel, check out the ombre glistening effect on this cloak. It is so pretty. He of course has his shiny helm with the horns. He has his scepter. I mean, this is full on Loki from the first Avengers and his bad boy era, which you know we love all the Lokis but this is iconic Loki. I mean, when he is stepping up even beside Thor in battle, this is his go-to look. And when you see that helm go on with those horns, you know he is ready to do some damage. Speaking of Thor, I have his hammer here, Mirror Mirror, which I love. All of the symbols, it even has the little brown wrap around the little handle here. It is 
It is nice and that is a dangle dainty kind of charm, but I love these kind of symbol charms. Like it's not Thor the way Loki is iconic Loki, but you can, you know exactly what it is. Hopefully they will eventually do a Thor charm, but you know, I'm pretty happy to have this as well. We have our button charm for Iron Man. So Iron Man, Captain America here and Spider-Man were a set that released at the parks um, back the very first Avengers pieces to show up. They were exclusive. Not a lot of them were made. I got them from um, a friend who goes to the parks uh, and I love them. So for a very long time, these were the only three that I had. And while I do like them, I am very glad to have others now. I want a full bracelet. I am definitely getting there. So next I have the American flag uh, pinwheel here, which of course is not an Avengers charm, but is one of the few that I wanted to kind of represent Captain America and the time when he was the star spangled man going around to the fairs. Um, and I just, I, I don't want all character charms on here. I like, like I said, this one with Mir Mir, that's just an icon. I want more of those. Um, and so you'll see on um, my design on, on my computer, I do have some more of these ideas that I would like to add, um, but they are not as exclusive as some of these character charms are. They're also not as expensive. So they're not my biggest priority. I will add them as they go on sale or like this one I got on sale at Rula La and she has stars all around the bale, which is also a nod here. Speaking of stars, I picked these constellation clips with the stars, which I do think the stars like for this dangle, they are very American stars. Whereas the constellation stars remind me more of um, like Guardians of the Galaxy or Thor or, or stories that are in space as opposed to the red, white, and blue stars and stripes. So there we go. Then we come to the Scarlet Witch. It was one of my favorite charms, one of my favorite characters. She has her hair. She has that cloak blowing. This is full on in Doctor Strange, like bad girl era in her full power Scarlet Witch. I really hope she comes back to us and she is not gone forever, but either way, I love that she is in action here. Like you can see her leg is bent. Her hands are glowing with CZs. It is a very cute charm. Another cute charm is the Spider-Man selfie charm. I love this one. You can see it has that dainty web shot over the top of the camera and around the front and back. It has a big CZ as the center lens. And of course, Mr. Peter Parker taking a picture of himself in his Spider-Man outfit because it is a selfie. It says selfie on the bottom, and I just think this is so cute. It is another one that is definitely Avengers-based, but not, you know, not straight up Spider-Man. So these two are from the same collection. There's a few more in this collection that I don't have that are that more graphic Spider-Man. Um, and they're very cute, but they just don't fit with this bracelet. I don't need every single one in that collection, even though Spider-Man is one of my favorite characters. Another favorite, Captain America is my favorite and Black Widow is my favorite of the girls. So you can see they are in the middle here. And then uh, from there, I would say Spider-Man and Scarlet Witch are my second and or third and fourth favorites. So it makes sense I'd put them in the middle here. Black Widow. Now I do like this charm more in person, but it's something about the face. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I got her when she finally went on double, triple final clearance. And I am happy to have her because like I said, she's my favorite of the female characters. She's got the ombre hair from Endgame with the lighter ends. 
she's holding her um, double, I want to say katanas, but I don't think that's right. It's the double um, staffs that she uses. She's got the full Black Widow costume. I just wish she had a bit of a better face. I like the ones with masks better because they don't have to have an expression. And I think that's just personal preference. Like I love the Harry Potter charms. I don't have any of their character beads because I just don't love the faces. Luckily Captain Marvel is a button charm and she has no face. And it has the star on the front, like is on the front of her uniform. And like we discussed earlier, it does say higher, further, faster which is of course her logo or her motto, it has the blue CZs on the front and the red on the back. Once again, another character who has full red, white, and blue uh, colors. Oh, Betty. My little dog just got up and slipped. She's okay, but she I think she startled herself. <laughs> then we have the man with the plan, my favorite, Captain America all his glory he is running into battle he has his shield with the cz he's got the cowl with the a he's got the look he's got the boots this little finch is clenched there is you know don't know if i can say it on youtube but america's booty there that's what we'll go with pretty sure you can but i love this character charm love it and right now the center section is like I said on the back of my wrist so eventually these will get moved around um, but I like that they are a, a small little group at the moment my other clip and then the last side so we have Doctor Strange's pendant which is of course the time stone I love that it has his kind of uh, symbols over the front, same as is on his uh, institution. What is that in New York? And some more symbols on the back. And I love that it is not flat. Like you can see it is fully domed on the front over that big green CZ, which is really fun. Then Captain America shield button charm that we've talked about a couple times. I love this one and it says the first Avenger on the back. And I just love that it gives it a little consistency. Uh, Iron Man is not my favorite character, but I do like him. It's funny because Captain America is my favorite and Iron Man is my best friend's favorite. Kind of gives you some insight in our personalities there. Um, so while he's not my favorite, I, I don't think there's a single Avenger I dislike. And I like that they're the two leaders and we have the two button charms of the two, you know, heads of the, the group here. Then we have the mixtape. Now this is not the Guardians of the Galaxy mixtape that came out, but for a long time before that came out, people were using this mixtape, which is just from their regular collection, to represent the Gardens, Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course, he loves his music. It says our love songs on the back. And while I do uh, like the new one, there's no reason to replace this with another one that looks so similar. I like that the bail is a heart. And I think that it's just another fun icon that can represent one of the movies. So there you have it. Then we have Iron Man. I like that his palms are also glowing like the Scarlet Witch with his power, those little CZs, and he's got his heart stone there, or his, you know, little power stone. He's got all the red and gold, that traditional Iron Man suit. Classy. Spider-Man. The traditional spider. And this is a more traditional bale with the hearts all around it. But I do like it. And I believe it says, we looked earlier, web slinger on the back. Yeah, web slinger. So I am, I am always happy to have more charms. Those three came in a set. 
if I could have only gotten Captain America shield by itself, I may have done that at the time. Um, but I like that I got the whole set since no other button charms have come out in this design. Um, and I like that I have Spider-Man here because he is one of my top, top four there. So, you know, another matching blue Murano. And last but not least, we have Star-Lord here. The little guardian symbol on the bale. He's clenching his blasters. He's got his mask on. He's got his full jacket on, of course, ready to go into battle. He is pretty cute. His enamel is more of a burgundy than the like bright red of Spider-Man or Iron Man, but he is still pretty cute. So let's go ahead and put these back on our bracelet and you will see what I'm talking about when I say I don't put them on here in the traditional sense. So instead of putting the middle charms here and basing the center, Instead, I am going to start by adding charms around the centerpiece. So I already have them in set, in set and order, um, but we're going to thread them on here, making sure that we are keeping them with the front here, and then our second front will come around and be this side. So let's put them on. All right, so now we end up with Spider-Man and Star-Lord around that middle A, and this is the front of the bracelet, how it hangs. Leaving this section for the back of the wrist or when it flips around the front of the wrist. So once I have more pieces that I like, I may switch the order. Um, I could switch Loki and Iron Man out since I do like these two characters more. But at the moment, I have Loki balanced with the green of um, Doctor Strange's pendant and Iron Man balanced with the gold of Loki and Captain Marvel here. So while it is not maybe my favorite characters up front, I still have Captain America's shield here. I have his shield here. I have, you know, Spider-Man. I have plenty of my favorites represented on the front. So I'm pretty happy with this. I am also happy that there are still plenty of spaces left for new characters. I still do want like I said, Deadpool, perhaps Wolverine. I want the Black Panther charm. Um, I love the Hulk, but I really hate the design of his charm. So I don't know if he will ever make it on here, especially since he has so much green. Um, but let's go ahead and pop into Adobe Illustrator and I will just show you how I work on adding charms to my design before I purchase them to decide which ones I like the most and which ones I'm going to actually try to buy. Now that only changes if I get a really good deal because Iron Man was not originally in the design since he has so much gold. He only became part of the design because I got such a good deal on him and because I had to have Loki with the gold. All right, Adobe Illustrator. We are inside Adobe Illustrator, which is my program of choice just because I am a graphic designer in my previous life and I still do everything in this program. You could do similar uh, mock-ups in PicMonkey or Canva, which both have free or low paid options. Um, but as you can see down here, this bottom half is how my bracelet currently looks today. So what I like to do is keep one version of how it currently looks. This is all the charms that I currently 
like and would like to have on my bracelet and where they would go. So you can see I've kind of overlaid transparent squares here and that just shows that I do not have these charms, the ones with the gray squares. But if you look closer, they are Thanos's gauntlet, the Statue of Liberty, Rocket Raccoon, the Black Panther. I did get Captain Marvel last, so we can actually put her on the do have list. And that is everything, all four. Um, that will move Captain America and the Scarlet Witch into the middle section of my bracelet here because I want to get Rocket Raccoon to balance out Loki's gold, moving Iron Man to the back. I'd like to get Black Panther to add a bit more black into the bracelet and a few more dangles here. So in order to keep everything balanced right now, I'm trying to add things in twos. So if I get two character beads, two dangles, um, that keeps everything balanced. You can see I have moved some of the things around, but that works perfectly. Now, over here on the right is how my bracelet looked at the very beginning when I was mocking it up with the Avengers A as the center and a bit of inspiration. So these are just Instagram pictures. Um, looks like 10 loves Pandora and NG moments. Uh, just to give them credit for things. I like to go on Instagram and I'll just search Pandora Avengers or whatever I'm currently working on and see what other people have done and then save ones that I like. So obviously mine does not look identical to these in any way, but I really liked how this bracelet used uh, the Statue of Liberty and the pinwheel and the eagle, uh, different charms here, especially these X's, like how cute are those spacers that aren't uh, specifically Marvel. This bracelet, I believe, was done when the first three charms had just been released, and that was all there was. Now, this one has a few more than that. We can see Captain America's shield. We can see Iron Man, um, the world here. But most of these, these are not super, you know, character charm heavy. So there you go. I am trying to still add more of those. And I have just placed a few things down here that might work in that, that kind of idea. So the ones I know I for sure want here. But then also some other terms that if I see on sale, I may grab and can play with. So let's go ahead and I've copied from online Deadpool and Wolverine. Now I am not a huge fan of this Wolverine charm. I'm going to have to see it in person to decide if I like it enough to buy him. Right now I would put him on the no buy list. You can see uh, Hulk is not even on this list anywhere because just don't like him that much. So we're going to add both of these guys over here just so we keep them in the rotation. But I don't even know if I'm going to add them to the left side because I'm, I'm really not sure where I would put them on my bracelet right now. I know I want Deadpool. Um, I could always get him instead of Black Panther because as much as I love Black Panther, the main reason I'm getting him, I don't really love this charm. I love the character um, is because he has more of that black, that the Black Widow and this camera for a long time, this was the only black I had are here. So I could add Deadpool in here. Um, and he would add more black while keeping with the red theme. I don't know. Um, and sometimes when I want to do that, I will kind of stack them like this. So I know like, hey, if I find one of these on sale somehow, either one could work in this place. 
unless another charm comes out that I like just as much as Deadpool. And then I can add a third uh, character charm section to the main portion of the bracelet. And if I were to do that, you can see I have a dangle, a Murano, a dangle, character, dangle, character, dangle, button charm, dangle. I would probably add him here and here. So I could move these out and I could add Deadpool on one side and Wolverine or the Hulk um, on the other side. I think those are the only two character charms that I don't currently have uh, accounted for, for lack of better words. So I, I'll go ahead and leave them like this. And then if I hate the Wolverine, charm when I do go get to see him in person, which I'm sure will happen at some point, then I will take him off of here and wait until another charm comes up that I like more. Because that is the thing, just because these are the only charms available right now does not mean they are the only charms that will ever be available. So as of right now, I have my bracelet as it stands today and my bracelet as I would like it to be if I had unlimited budget to just go out and purchase these one, two, three, four, five, six new charms. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this and we will head back to the actual video to close this up. But I hope you liked this. If you'd like to see, I do have a master list of all my Pandora charms um, in Illustrator this way. If you'd like to ever see that master list, let me know. Maybe I'll film a video on my entire collection uh, as the master list because it is a large file <laughs> and it includes all of my bracelets, not just how this Avengers bracelet is broken out. The master list has my entire collection as well as my wish list of what I wish I had. So it's quite the file. All right, back to the bracelet. All right. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave me a comment down below and I will be back with more Pandora, I'm sure, in the future. As I add to this bracelet, I will probably do another update video at some point because there is still plenty of room on here and I will update you as I get more pieces to fill in these gaps on what they look like. The next time you see the full bracelet may be um, when it's finished. We'll see. It's not, it's not getting close to finished, but there's not crazy amounts of room left. Seven charms filled it up pretty far this time. All right. Bye, y'all.